Resonance area connections green. Are there any problems, Neil? I got Ark and I are just fine. We're ready to go. Understood. Please begin the search for memory nodes. Let's get going. I'm not that excited about this, though. Is this a memory node? I'll try touching it. Understood. No hostile readings detected at the moment. Go ahead. Just as expected, we got a good price. As of today, you belong to another port. Damn it! Let go! Let go of me! Stop whining. Baron's a pretty wealthy port. Considering you're a grade A age, you'll be treated well. As a guinea pig. No! Zeke! Keith! Stop! I don't want to go! I get it. This takes you back in your memories. Got you. Neil, a hostile memory node has appeared. Spotted. We'll take care of it. I had a pretty sad childhood. Memory node eliminated. Good work. Come on home, you two. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry to show you that. Pennyworth bought me for my high compatibility, and then sold me to Baron. I was so scared of fighting back then. I couldn't stand seeing people get hurt or die right in front of me. I stubbornly refused to fight, and that ended up tearing me from my family. By the time I realized you have to fight for what is precious to you, it was too late. All I knew when I first got to Baron was that I had to become stronger and stronger. And that's what I thought, but I also figured I'd never see them again. The strength I was after at first was the strength to survive. I don't think we'll come across any good memories for now. Sorry to put you through this, but it's a good chance to reflect on my past. And if we keep going and our combat data is archived, it'll help a lot of people. The survivors from the Crimson Queen. It might be able to help them out too. are stable. We're counting on you. Roger. We'll take care of it. Starting sweep for memory notes. Watch! You can't 
using Cage? Is that a joke? Do you know how much we spent on you? Damned Pennywort bastards! They pushed a lemon on us! Whatever. You can die serving us by patrolling the Ashlands. Pennywort was an awful port, but Baron wasn't any better. I quickly learned that we ages have no safe place in this world. Hey, you get tossed aside too? Don't worry, I'm the same. Can't fight, no good for research. All we can do is die. Everyone here is like that. They've given up on us. But we haven't quit yet. As long as we're alive, we still have a chance. Neil, right? Join us and keep fighting. Let's make a promise. We won't die until we're all free. I had to see that memory too, huh? I met people at Baron who were cast aside as defective products just like me. It was a hopeless situation, but they were always laughing together. I didn't get it at first, but they were my first real friends. wiped them out with ease. I was sure I'd die there too. I braced myself, but... Are you okay? Snap out of it. We neutralized the Ashborn. You're still alive. Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. That's when I met Werner. Memory node eliminated. Starting disconnection sequence. The leader of the Crimson Queen, Werner Gatlin. He saved me when I was basically abandoned deep in a dangerous part of the Ashlands. I joined the Crimson Queen, his organization, then and there. A lot happened between us and you when I was with them. What did you think of Werner? So that's what happened. An ironic encounter, huh? Werner wanted to build a utopia for ages in the middle of the Ashlands. He wanted to save mistreated ages and give them a peaceful place to live. That resonated with me. He was a person capable of making my lifelong dream real. Everyone at the Crimson Queen came from circumstances like my own. In that place, I was able to regain what I'd lost up until that point. Sometimes we went to extreme lengths to free ages who were suffering. 
I'm not asking you to understand everything we did. Just... We were fighting as best we could to defend our friends. Our families. but it doesn't slow you down. Resonance area connection established. Stay safe in there. Just a bit further to go, right? Thanks for coming. Okay. Uh, that was fast. Multiple hostile responses. Use all due caution. may appear. I'll fight them for you and the Crimson Queen. Very well. I trained every day to guard the Crimson Queen. Werner worked me hard, but I never felt it was too much to bear. The feeling of keeping my family safe felt too good. HQ Reclamation Initiative, Chrysanthemum, the Hounds. They'll be coming soon. Neil, there's someone among them. Yeah, I heard my older brother is with them. We haven't met in years. I bet he thinks I'm dead. If he tries to interfere with the Crimson Queen, then I'll... Stop, Neil. In times like these, a chance to meet a blood relative is rare. I intend to talk with them. As fellow ages, we should agree on some things. I don't want to turn you against your family. Warner, what was going through your head back then? Go get it! Damn, Baron. They planned to betray us from the start. The front line was hit hard. Some of us were killed. Damn it. Warner! I'll stay and fight with you until the end. Let me be at your side and fight for our family. No, Neil. I'll be going to the front. Alone. <gasps> Warner! Neil, the connection is growing unstable, forcing a disconnect. Warner, why? Why wouldn't you let me stay with you? Don't thrash around, okay? Remember when there was an all-out war between Gleipnir and the Crimson Queen, right? They captured and killed us. All for the great cause of humanity. Do you understand how that felt? I couldn't forgive them. I bet you were pressed pretty hard by Gleipnir back then, too. So I want to ask you, don't you hate them? You too, huh? 
When Werner died, my comrades and I were locked up in Fenrir HQ. When we heard about it, we were filled with rage and despair. But the miracle of Ervasti, that strange phenomenon you and Feen created, it connected us with Gleipnir. Everyone was fighting to defend something precious. After that, the hatred I felt turned all foggy. I just had a sense of mourning for Werner and all the people we couldn't protect. I don't feel any desire for revenge. But something in me can't fully accept it either. What would have happened if I'd followed Werner and fought at his side back then? Yeah, I know it wouldn't have helped anything, but I needed to say it. It's all in the past now. I need to overcome it to move on. Still, I don't think I'll ever feel quite whole again. Sorry, I went on for too long. Don't worry, it won't get in the way of work. I'll figure it out in time. Welcome back. It's hard to do anything in the Ashlands, but it doesn't slow you down. Group moving toward Fenrir HQ. Your mission is to lure some of them here and support the defense. Ash levels are rising. Please don't overdo it. We'll be fine. The two of us can handle the job. <laughs> Defending Fenrir HQ. It's a pretty cruel joke. I'm sorry. I didn't know if I should assign you to this. It's okay, Amy. It's complicated, sure, but... Hating and being hated, all that brings is death. I'm sick and tired of that cycle. I will protect everyone I can. Please just go away! First wave is down. Amy, status report. Wave two is about to make contact. Be careful. You're still good, right? Let's wipe them out. Fighting at your side reminds me of Werner somehow. You give people hope. Maybe you've got a lot in common. I guess I can hit the broad side of the barn. I guess I can hit the broad side of the barn. I guess I can hit the broad side of the bar. Please! Are you able to engage? A special guest. Sorry, but we don't have room for you. We're gonna have to put you to sleep.
response is all clear. Mission complete. Well done. Are you hurt? <laughs> look who I'm asking. Amy, we'll take one last look around before coming home. Understood. Standing by. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Fenrir HQ. Now it's the foundation for humanity's future. We kept it safe. Thinking back now, that mission really was important. Thinking of Gleipnir taking credit for all of it still kind of ticks me off. <laughs> it makes you angry too, doesn't it? I still have mixed feelings, but defending that place was the right thing to do. Even if they were the same enemies who killed Werner and lots of my friends, there are people they're trying to protect too, and we need to remember that. I don't know if the survivors of the Crimson Queen would agree with me though. There's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. Survivors from the Crimson Queen are starting to band back together. I hear they're going to start working together to free Ages again. They aren't as strong as they used to be, and their methods should be peaceful. So, they invited me to join them. And honestly, I'm tempted to go. Old friends coming together and picking up Warner's torch again. Thinking of it fills me with the urge to do something to help. But the dream you guys showed me is also full of promise. Plus, I genuinely want to keep working with you to make it come true. I don't know what's right or what I can do. I don't have an answer. Different paths. What do I feel? I've always been caught in someone else's dreams, I guess. The folks at the Crimson Queen didn't have the strength to chase their own dreams. I guess that's why they needed Werner so badly. My dream. What I really want to do. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about it. I guess you've rubbed off on me. But thinking about my own ideal future isn't bad. I'd like to find my answer. And so I want to face myself in the deepest part of my heart one last time. I can find the answer there. This is it, friend. Let's see what it is. Connection established. Be safe in there. We will, Amy. Well, let's get started. My inner voice, what I've silenced for so long, will finally be heard.
When the war is over? When ages are free, and there's a utopia in the Ashlands, what then? What then? I just want to be with my family, and that's all. <laughs> You're a kind person, but I want you to remember this. You shouldn't be afraid when you want to have something that's out of reach. Don't fear loss and silence your inner voice. Reach out for your future. Once you've found what it is you want, don't hesitate. Follow it forward. We're family. You'll always have a home here. Warner. <laughs> Warner really said that to me. I'd never get anywhere alone, so I stayed in my shell. I was so closed off that I forgot what Werner told me. But not anymore. You gave me the courage to dream. You and Werner pushed me forward, but now I can walk on my own. Got you. We're connected. This is what Core Engage feels like. Such strength! Your will is more powerful than I imagined! <laughs> this is what propels you toward your dream, huh? Well, I won't let myself fall behind. Let's go! Side of the barn. 
This is goodbye to the old me. Thank you, Werner. I'll find the future you pointed me toward. Thank you again. You really opened my eyes. Finally, I found a dream I can call my own. I'll probably meet up with them more, but I won't go back to the Crimson Queen. I've decided that I'm still a hound, and I work with you. It'll be a while before I meet up with my old friends again. Without Werner guiding them, they've lost their way forward. Even so, they're pulling together and searching for a direction. I want to build a place where they can live in peace. If I stick with you, I'm certain that we can make that happen. You want a port where everyone can live together happily, right? As one of the Hounds, I can ensure that Utopia becomes a reality. And... I want to help guide people who don't have a home to that Utopia. Just like Werner did for me, I want to be someone who can show others hope. I want to add my dream to yours. Will you take it on? Tie them together. That makes sense. Thanks. I think I finally know where I want to be. I'm really glad you're here. I never would have figured this out without you. You're a member of my family. I'll watch your back from here on out. I'm really lucky to have met you. You got a sec? I want to talk about something. An anonymous mail addressed to the hounds came in today. Keith's looking into it, but we don't know who sent it yet. The path was altered, and it uses heavy encryption, so... That means it pretty much has to be a port on Gleipnir or Baron's level. But the problem is the message itself. Take a look at these. This picture and data on Soma Shiksel, one of the three sages of the Calamity. Plus, documents suggesting Soma Shiksel and Ein are related. In other words, the sender wants to tell us they're the same person. Ein is an extremely brilliant scientist. There certainly are similarities. I couldn't believe it myself, so I dug through Ayn's entire history. But in the end, I couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. His pre-calamity data is almost strangely complete. <sighs> Maybe Ayn has some ulterior motive and has hidden his identity. That would put us in danger we need to avoid. 
though I hate to say it. Still, the information isn't very credible, and it could be fake. They might want us on edge to disrupt our ties with Dusty Miller. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't like this cloud of doubt, so I'll investigate further. If I end up finding out it's only a hoax, then we can rest easy. Oh, another thing? Let's keep this to ourselves. We don't want to stir things up for no reason. We should keep each other informed of anything new, though, okay? <laughs> 